uh, uh, Crip Mac and Brick ba- Baby. Brick Baby. Baby. Yeah. Brick Baby, that's his name? Oh, Brick yeah. Baby. Oh. Brick Baby. Now, you, is he, he Cripping too? Oh, for sure. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Well, the thing is, you gotta understand, whenever you see two big Crips on pictures, it kind of make people look like, damn, they linked up. Like when they seen OG Percy on the picture with you. Mm-hmm. Then you went from OG Percy, now you're on the picture with uh, 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 Crip Mac and Brick Baby. Baby. Brick, Baby. Baby. Yeah. Brick Baby, that's his name. Oh, Brick yeah. Baby. Oh. Brick Baby. Now, you, is he, he Cripping too? Oh, for sure. So, Crip Baby, I mean, uh, you talking about Brick Baby? Brick Baby. Okay. Did, oh, how you, was that conversation? Cause he you, was I, very nice. I really enjoyed my conversation with him. He was very respectful. He was more respectfuler than Crip Mac. Really? Yes, he was. <laughs> I I actually, he had a little bit more common sense, you know, like, you know, Crip Mac, he cool, but you know, he's just a little retarded a nah, little bit. No, but the nigga gave but, you a, a, a one of his a, a, a old English. I seen you drinking old yes, English. had this buzz oh, all oh, over you. Know the, the, you the nigga gave you an old English or he, something. He mm-hmm. did bring me gifts to the table. He brought me an old English and he brought me a Subway sandwich. But <laughs> that nigga to get you on something old English, that's different. He don't share that old English with and nobody. I ain't never also, really seen that. We was having a conversation about getting chipped. Getting chipped. What is that? It actually means getting killed. But I got hungry when he said that. And I was like, chips, where's some Lay's at? And he pulled out some Lay's chips. And I started eating chips at so no So you jump. didn't know what chips was? I chips. didn't know what getting chips. chips. Getting he chips started talking chips. about chips. So, uh, right. you know, I just automatically just thought that he Food. had another gift. And I, lo and behold, he brought out some chips. Some Lay's <laughs> salt, lightly salted chips. And then y'all, y'all ate chips together. I ate the chips by myself. Oh, he didn't eat no chips. He <laughs> yeah, just gave me a Subway me. sandwich, too. And sandwich. I had a Subway sandwich. So this nigga, oh, now, he ain't was buying, grit, buying gifts up there. He did, but I don't eat nothing. I, I, I don't fix my Subway sandwich like that. I ain't going to lie. But but did you eat it? I ate it. I did. Okay. But I do not fix my Subway sandwich like that. He had tuna and shit on there and pickles and the onions and all that <laughs> type nigga showed shit. you love up there. Yeah, no he joke. did. I know, but I just, next time when I go, I just really want him to do turkey, mustard, and <laughs> ranch, <laughs> and salt and pepper, <laughs> and Italian bread. He had wheat bread. Damn. That's more but healthy. I do appreciate them gifts, though. I fuck with you, Crip Mac. I will get you a Big Mac next time I come out. Well, what, what, where was Adam 22 at? Because he been going through it lately. We don't know where he at right now. He was... Too busy auctioning his wife off, I think, again. So No Yes. I think he was auctioning his wife off again. He's still know. out there like that? Yes. Mm-hmm. That's what he was doing. Well, that's what they some one of the producers behind the scene had told me. Mm, so wow. I had Yeah, so so I but I was looking forward to seeing Adam twenty two though. I really was. Adam twenty two is into a lot of stuff. Man. He is. <laughs> He's a little different than most. Yes. Him and his wife. Mm-hmm. Him and his wife. Yeah. You wanted to meet them both. I did. I really thought that I see I didn't know where I was going. I thought that I, they they told me to come to No Jumper and when I got there I could have sworn that I was gonna sit down with no with uh Adam twenty two. Here come Crip Baby and Crip Brick Mac baby. and uh, um and uh, <laughs> all these Crips and a, a pimp then came in there. Uh, it's, it, his name is Shark. Yeah, I know Shark. Shout out Shark. I like the way he get yeah. out though. I, I just see the show. Lie. I like Sharp, Shark, man. I'm a, let I'm a, me tell you what Sharp was given. Sharp. Sharp. He gave. Let me not get a hate crime. Or let me not get canceled. Change voices let, on me. Yeah, he just, he just me, switch your voice up. Yeah, on oh, then switch it to my uh, the male my, voice. My male, my, my masculine voice. Yeah. He was like, you do that sometimes. Yeah, it just yeah. come natural. I got my bitch Tony, lit Tony, and Crip Tony. Depends on what you're talking about. Depends on what I'm talking about. If I'm talking about, if I'm more than likely, if I'm giving an explanation, we're on the Crip Tony. Yeah, now, which Crip one Tony. is your natural voice? Natural Tony is the bitch Tony. Oh, okay. Yeah. Damn. So go, go ahead. Go ahead. ahead. <laughs> Let's get so, into it. Let me tell you. Uh, so the person that was. <laughs> The most quietest in the interview was Sharp. So I'm sitting there and he asked me his little two questions, but you know, it's just like he was like, oh my God, let me get this over with. Like it just gave, like, let me get this interview over with. He was snacking on his Fritos and shit. He ta- we taking pictures. He eating Fritos. He would not put them bag of Cheetos down. So he asked his little questions, but you could tell that he really had some more questions. But he was like, uh-uh, let me not get canceled by the LGBT folks because you know what happened to the baby when he said mm-hmm. that stuff yeah. and his career was damn near over. So Sharp was like, uh-uh, that is not going to be me. I'm going to fake it until I make it. But you could tell that he really yeah, probably, with it. probably felt some type of way about mm-hmm. it. Brick Baby, uh, what, the one y'all talking about, the one with mm-hmm. the dread? Brick Baby. 
he was very respectful. He was very respectful and cool and stuff. Crip Mac was just being himself. That's that's what that interview. You know, I ride, I ride, I ride with Crip Mac. And me and Crip yeah. Mac have talked on several occasions. Yeah. Um, like like you know like uh, he's uh, he 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 has a he has a brand mm-hmm. and it's a very well known brand. Um, he sell clothes too. <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm no, he has a brand. He himself, he's a brand. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, so, brand ambassador. There you okay. go. So he's a one, he's a guy who you know to see you get with him and hang out with him and have a conversation with him and take pictures with him and drink old English with him yeah. and go and eat uh, what they what they subway sandwiches yes. together. Mm-hmm. You know, this was big. For, yes, you I know, had so much fun. Cause, and and I never seen that coming. So Supreme, let me ask you something like. I know you know everything to go on. Being a, being a manager now, you done taken on a role uh, with uh, the first openly gay, first yeah. openly gay crip gangster though. I have to say that part, uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> gangster though. Like like what what? How has this experience been for you different than other people that you've managed in the past? Uh, it ain't no difference. It's the same. Uh, they was all stars and Tony a star. So I treated his, um, I like Tony. I, Tony is cool. Uh, Tony is respectful. Tony take care of business. And shit, it, I look at it the same. It's all the same to me. Yeah, Tony a star. And it, that's pretty much it. Just like the rest of them, Tony, yeah. So I look at it the same. So, okay. A lot of, a lot of times when you you when you dealing with something like this, because I've had issues. You know, when I first started interviewing uh, openly gay uh, guests on my show, I've had three, but only two came out because mm-hmm. one of my videos got messed up. Mm-hmm. This is a new experience for me. I'm very open and honest about it. I had to talk to my wife. Say, man, you know. It's something, you know, it's, it's tough on me, but I know God love everybody, so I don't trip. You know what I'm saying? I'm not that guy. Like, I, I'm so open and up front. Everybody know how organic I am on this show. Mm-hmm. So when I look at things, it's like, okay, I'm dealing with this. And it's like, okay, I have family members that, that, mm-hmm. that I have dealt with this with. So it's something that I've been prepared to deal, you know, prepared, prepared to deal with. So I just want to ask you, like, how is it for you, like, the flack that comes with it, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like people knowing, oh man, he, oh uh, he, he got a, uh, the LGBTQ, uh, he managing them now. Ain't no flack. Uh, I done got a few calls, but it's it's all been with respect. Um, I look at it like if you're not if you're not if you minding your own business, then Tony shouldn't offend you. Mm-hmm. He mind his own business. He he living his. You know what I'm saying? That's what he. That's how he get down. Um, that don't bother me. Mm-hmm. So, shit. Like I said, it's all the same to me. I have a question. So, um, what I was gonna ask is, um, Supreme, you're the manager. I know a lot of people always say there's a differences in managing a female rapper compared to men because females are more dramatic. They're more this that. What men are a lot easier. Mm-hmm. So, <clears throat> with Tony. So when you think about you know so a male that's gay, you they have like female tendencies, but then they're still a man. So how is that different? Um, my the the female artists that I've worked with haven't given me any trouble. Uh, the the male artists that I work with, if you want to call it trouble, or them just being boys, you growing into young men, then you know that's what it is. Uh, Tony, so you get more trouble from the males than oh, no the females. Oh no doubt, for sure. Uh, Tony is is is. Uh, <laughs> Go ahead, and tell it. Shit, Tony like both. Mm-hmm. So you know, say, but I don't even. I, it ain't even like no no category to me. Just a, just a person. Yeah, yeah, for sure. No, definitely. I was just wondering with the tendencies, you know. When you think about male versus female and stuff like that, that's the reason why I asked. Tony doing push ups every day now. Mm, Getting really? ready, yeah. Yeah, and doing uh I have a personal trainer now, so Oh, you trying ta- to get taking my uh, career a little bit, yeah. I'm trying to take my career more serious now. So every day is work. Like every day we doing something. Supreme got us 
at an interview. If we ain't at an interview, we in the studio. If we're not in the studio, we doing something and contributed. Shooting a video. Shooting a video, uh, shooting a reel, doing content, doing something to be most successful in the entertainment industry. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.